second more happy Tuesday I'm Jameson and I'm Gavin and welcome to today's video announcements today is hello and Kendall today <laughs> is September 12th 2023 thanks Kendall now let's please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation under God indivisible for liberty and justice for all thank you please be seated we hope to see you all at the parent tour tomorrow evening. Bring a loved one with you, let them see your classes, and most of all, be sycamore! Map testing! Make sure you fully have a recharged laptop this evening so you're fully prepared for tomorrow. We will take the map tomorrow. Now over to our club and activity sports announcements. Good morning, sycamore. I'm Namya. And I'm Bryson. And we're here with our special announcements for today. Hola, salve, bonjour, ni hao, salam, privet, ciao, shalom, konnichiwa, and hello. Wow, we just spoke 10 different languages. If you want to learn about new cultures or share your own, join the International Club. If you're interested, email Mrs. Wolford to be added to the club, club's canvas page at wolforddm at sycamoreschools.org. Attention all boys, the Sycamore Junior Boy Choir is starting this Thursday, September 14th. Boy Choir meets before school Thursdays at 7.15. We are looking for quality boys to be part of this 30-plus year winning tradition. Be dropped off at the main front entrance and walk down the sidewalk and enter straight into the choir room, door 24. No singing experience is required and all are welcome. Password is donuts. See Mrs. Stein or Mr. Callahan if you have any questions. The following students should report to the media center today. Abdul Malik Rashidov, Tyvan Miles, Elijah Duell. Your repaired Chromebooks are waiting for you. We hope to see you at the family orientation Wednesday evening. 7th grade families tour from 5.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. And our 8th grade families tour between 7 and 8 p.m. Upcoming events. Rat Pack starts September 28th uh, after school till 4 p.m. Plan to meet in room 2251 on Wednesday, September 20th, if interested. Any questions? Email Mrs. BT at bts at their sycamoreschools.org. September 28th is our Glowathon. Let's go. Keep fundraising for our school clubs and activities. The goal is $40,000. Birthdays! Happy birthday to our students celebrating today, Associate D and Gotham R. Belated birthdays to staff members. Mr. Von Lemden, who celebrated over the weekend, Mr. Miles and Mrs. Lambeau, who celebrated yesterday, and very happy birthday to Mr. Wolf, who's celebrating today. That's all we have for today. Now over to Jameson and Gavin. Now on to our Athletes of the Week. Hello, Aviator Nation. Uh, Mr. Stern here again to do this week's Athlete of the Week. And I am here with Kat Singh. And uh, this week we will be doing a couple of members from our tennis team, from the gold and green tennis team. So Kat, this is from Coach Andriola and Coach Nellinger. So they write, Kat is a great student, person, and outstanding athlete. She plays tennis for the junior high team with a huge smile on her face. Kat has worked hard throughout the offseason, her first season on green tennis team, and she is joining the green team for the second year. She doesn't give up during a match if she's losing, but instead challenges herself to play even harder. You guys have a pretty tough schedule this year. Yeah, no doubt. She demonstrates determination, motivation, and tremendous sportsmanship. She continuously puts forth her best effort and is always very kind and respectful to her teammates, coaches, and opponents. Kat's integrity and big heart proves to be a phenomenal model for her peers and to what all athletes should aspire. That was really nice. Um, Kat, we want to reward you with a certificate and a free one-topping pizza from Papa John's. Congratulations. Thank you. Yay. Yay. Our second athlete of the week is Caroline Pullman, also a member of our tennis team, the gold tennis team this time around. Caroline is a great student. She's an outstanding athlete and a wonderful person. She plays second doubles on the gold tennis team with a huge smile on her face as well, which I can see. Caroline has worked so hard throughout the off season. Her first season was on the green tennis team, but then you came back and you joined the gold team with some very tough competition. So, and I think you guys are undefeated. 
Yes. Yeah, you guys are having an outstanding season. She doesn't give up during a match if she's losing. Have you lost any matches? Uh, a few. Yeah? Yeah. But you challenge yourself to play even harder. She demonstrates athleticism, motivation, and tremendous sportsmanship. Caroline continuously puts forth her best effort. She's always kind and respectful to her teammates, coaches, and opponents. Caroline's integrity and big heart proves to be a phenomenal model for her peers, and it's what all athletes should be doing. And I, I don't disagree. You know, there's some things on here that really have nothing to do with athletics, but just being a good person. And guys, not everybody's a great athlete, but anybody can do some of these great things that you're doing. So that's fantastic. Caroline, a write-up for you, your certificate as well. And a one topping pizza from Papa John's. Thank you. Congratulations. Those are our athletes of the week. Congrats to the athletes of the week, and thanks, Mr. Stern. If you ever feel like you want to start a club, please email Mr. Cole at Cole G at Sycamore School Center. That sounds like a good idea. What kind of club would you want to start? Um, I don't know. I think fishing or some kind of pickleball tennis board would be fun. Okay. Now it's time for the joke of the day. Why was Cinderella so bad at soccer? I don't know. Why? Because she kept running from the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to follow your PBIS expectation and be the best version of yourself. Have a great day, Sycamore, and... Go, Go Waves! Waves!